to knitting for newbies. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to work the purl stitch. It's the companion stitch for the knit stitch, which we showed in the last video. What I have here in the background are my two knitting needles, and I have um, this little sample swatch that we've kind of been working up as we do these videos, right? So I did about, oh, three or four-ish rows in knitting, and I'm ready to change it up and do the purl stitch. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is position my stitches so they're right near the tip of the needle, but not too close, you don't want them to slide off, right? Now remember for knitting, our working end of our yarn was in the back and we inserted our needle from front to back or left to right, however you wanna think of that. Purling is kind of the opposite or the inverse of that. We're gonna have our working end of the yarn be in the front so you can either loop it up and, and over or underneath or whatever makes most sense, but your working end of your yarn has to come from the front for the purl stitch, all right? So I just moved it to the front. I got my tail end back here, working end here. And then you're gonna insert your needle actually from the back to the front or from right to left, however you wanna think of that. So we're kinda of coming in back to front or from right to left. Next step is to yarn over. So I'm just gonna take my yarn and I'm just gonna wrap it around. And like with the knit stitch, um, when I do a yarn over, yarning over, I'm holding the yarn kind of tight, parallel with my right hand needle. This helps in sliding that working end of the yarn here through this loop that's on our left hand needle. If it's too loose, you got more play for your needles. If it's tighter, you're gonna have a lot easier time getting that yarn to go through that loop. All right, so I'm gonna start over here. So we're going to go ahead, working yarn in the front. I'm gonna insert my needle from back to front. Again, sometimes twisting the needle helps. I'm gonna yarn over, pull that a little bit tight. And for this first stitch, I'm gonna use my thumb, very gently push that needle through underneath the other needle, just like that. So you can see they kind of cross each other. Again, so I've got my yarn over here, pull tight. Sliding this down off the back. There you go, from front to back again. Now we just need to slide this needle, or slide this loop off of the left hand needle. And then we have our first purl stitch on the right hand needle. Same, same thing all the way across, you know, just insert from back to front or right to left. Yarn over and pull through and slide off. Back to front. Sometimes the purl stitch can be a little trickier, especially I think if your stitches are tight. There we go, back to front. Yarn over. And pull through, slide off. Back to front. Oops, there we go, back to front. Yarn over, pull that tight. Sliding it through slide that loop off the needle. Now we've got four purl stitches on our right hand needle. Moving again the stitches all the way from the left to the right. Just moving them across the needle. Here we go. So you're just gonna keep knitting all the way across. stitches are a little tight so it's a little bit of a struggle but I will win haha -ha. there we go so yeah just keep inserting your needle from front or from back to front and you can see I kind of caught the fibers there didn't want to do that there you go you can really see that now I'm just gonna slide that off carefully and redo my yarn over there we go and just keep going across the entire row. And 
And there you have it. There's a whole row of pearl stitches. 10, so there's two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. There you go. I find it's helpful to periodically count the number of stitches you have. If you yarn over more than once, you can throw things off and add extra stitches when you didn't mean to. So when in doubt, count. But we've done a whole row of purl stitch, and now I'm gonna show you um, how to do purl stitch in the continental method. So I'm just gonna hold my yarn like so, except, haha, remember, purl stitch, the yarn has to be in the front has to has to be in the front all right so let me see if I can remember how to do this I haven't done this in a while well you're gonna insert your needle from back to front all right back to front just like so yarn over kind of pull that tight and just slide your needle through and slide that loop off So it's a little bit different than, um, at least this is how I do it. This is a little bit different than my continental method for the knit stitch in that I don't have, you know, with the knit stitch, I'm holding it like this and I'm picking up in the back. Um, the purl stitch, I'm kind of just holding it with my thumb, just, just a little bit out front here so that I have enough room to kind of just lift it over and pull tight with my index finger and the knuckle basically of my index finger and my thumb and just sliding it through. It's, uh, I haven't done this in a while, so I apologize. It's a little clumsy when you start, but you do a whole row of purling like that, you will catch on pretty quick. I'm actually faster at that than with the knit stitch in Continental Method, which surprised both of us. Um, I haven't done it in a while, so I'm kind of clumsy and slow at it at the moment, but here we go. So there's two whole rows of the purl stitch. And again, when in doubt, count. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten stitches on our needle. Feel free to go ahead and practice this. You know, practice until you're comfortable with the purl stitch. Obviously, um, it's knitting, so most people learn the knit stitch first. But as I've said, I actually prefer the purl stitch. Um, I've made, I can't tell you how many hats in the purl stitch just because it's so so peaceful and easygoing. I really, really like it. Um, it's easier for me for some reason. Um, this video is not really a testament to that, but um, trust me, um, especially once you really get going with that continental style, you can just knit really fast. And I love the way the pearl stitch looks. So um, I'm going to go ahead and hop on over to the next video. I will see you there. That video is all about how to bind off. Um, I recommend before you're ready for that, um, go ahead and work up a sample swatch. Keep knitting, purling, you know, do a few rows of knitting, do a few rows of purling. Feel free to alternate back and forth. Um, those have special names too. The alternating patterns. So um, we'll cover those eventually in other videos. Um, but just try knitting for a while, try purling for a while, get comfortable with the stitches, and then we'll go into binding off. So whenever you are ready for that step, I'll see you over there in the next video.